On behalf of all organizers, I wish to offer a very special word of thanks to President of the Republic of Poland, Mr. Bronisław Komorowski. Panie Prezydencie, dziękuję, że od początku wspierał Pan nasze ambicje. Mr. President, thank you that uh, from day one you were supporting our ambitions and activities and you expressed it, uh, giving your patronage uh, to Global Forum as well as participating in our meetings. Your presence uh, actually uh, raised the importance of Global Forum very high and uh, thank you for the uh, spirit of dialogue uh, in which you were strengthening us very much. Uh, during our proceedings as well as during all your term. Please do remember, Mr. President, that uh, we, you will always be uh, very well expected guests uh, here. Mr. President, I would like to invite you to the stage. Fred, could you join us? This is uh, honorary diploma, uh, and now applause is uh, on the agenda. <laughs> Big hand, please. Well, Mr. President, the floor is yours. Honorable Mr. Uh, Mayor, um, Measures Ministers, all dear ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, such pleasant words addressed at me. Uh, they are especially, in today's situation, extremely important. Uh, I would like to say, however, that always deeply convinced uh, I participate and uh, I also today participate in the Global Forum meeting in Wrocław, uh, which is a meeting focused actually on uh, having a dialogue and considering together uh, issues which are important for the whole world, for the whole West world, but also for our world in which we are operating within the region, within our country. Thank you for the fact that this forum is held here in Wrocław, which is uh, uh, actually one of the symbols, cities symbols of the victory of Polish solidarity which not only gave us freedom, but which also opened, paved the way to the Western world, which actually resulted in our membership in the NATO and in the EU. But Wrocław is also a good place to stress, to highlight the importance of solidarity, not only in historically symbolic dimension, but also to highlight the importance of solidarity today and in the future. In within uh, the operation of the whole uh, system of the Western world, because uh, actually this is solidarity we want to uh, recall, and we are uh, basing on it uh, uh, when thinking of uh, overcoming difficulties the world is fating, facing. We are uh, referring to this uh, solidarity when we think of uh, overcoming the crisis which are uh, showing up ahead of us or within which we are shooking, uh, looking for uh, solutions. This is also uh, about crisis uh, the whole world is struggling with, including the Western world. Uh, I mean the crisis related to uh, the um, operations of uh, EU economy, which is uh, today often abused as a source of uh, anti-European uh, positions, uh, actually raising doubt about uh, solidarity of the Western world, uh, European world. Uh, here I mean also solidarity uh, towards countries of our eastern and southern neighborhood, where solidarity without which it is difficult to imagine uh, effectively opposing uh, dangerous trends and tendencies which we are uh, actually worried looking at in the east of Europe in the form of Russian uh, policy, aggressive towards its neighbor, questioning borders, questioning the rules of international order. The same solidarity and need to highlight it is also related to our southern neighborhood, but 
it's worthwhile noticing that actually referring to solidarity, internal solidarity of the Western world must lead to mutual understanding, uh, especially uh, actually mm, varying uh, sensitivities of those countries of Western world which are actually living on the eastern flank of uh, the Union, EU, and those which are facing the problems of the South. It is actually uh, the mm, mutual solidarity we have to re refer to when seeking for and building understanding in our own uh, societies the need to cooperate, the need also to uh, actually um, uh, face uh, common challenges and common burdens. Uh, it is worth uh, while. Uh, noting the need of a common dialogue not only among elites or experts, uh, the continuous dialogue uh, seeking for what can be building the solidarity of the Western world. But I would like to highlight here, here in Wrocław, the need to uh, refer to solidarity, uh, the need to build uh, the solidarity attitudes in the society. Uh, there are signals uh, proving that, uh, well, the situation with the solidarity varies, that today we have wasted quite a lot of time in which uh, natural enthusiasm uh, for integration of the Western world uh, has been replaced uh, not by the sense, uh, it has been replaced by the sense of the fact that uh, being within certain frames uh, doesn't require solidarity, but it's only opportunity to make business, to have better life. Uh, so it is worthwhile noticing the recent uh, public uh, opinion studies uh, uh, um, were uh, um, in, in Poland, uh, media initiations appeared, where uh, they question readiness of uh, certain European structures to participate in defense if need be uh, to defend other NATO countries. Uh, one should not actually uh, get uh, bound too close by this problem because uh, societies, if they are widely uh, directed, they uh, actually assume a good direction of thinking, but uh, these poles have to be treated as a signal uh, telling us that this work has to be carried on, uh, that this solidarity needs to keep being built and strengthened all the time, otherwise the foundation for our freedom, also this our Polish freedom regained 25 years ago, may appear in the uh, moments of tests, of crisis, and crisis appear <laughs> always, may appear to be a weak foundation. So that is necessary today in the situation when we are facing uh, great challenges anyway, uh, being uh, both the problem of uh, Ukrainian-Russian relations and the problem of the situation in the south of Europe, the problem of the European crisis, uh, unsolved problem of mutual relations and integration of the whole Western world and uh, both sides of the Atlantic Ocean. We should today, actually facing these crises, uh, we should say to ourselves, that uh, what is in most important we have to do is to build or strengthen the sense of mutual co-responsibility and solidarity, mutual solidarity. And uh, if I may, a few words also about uh, what is uh, for us, all uh, of us important here in Poland and important for this whole eastern area. In the context of uh, all these threats uh, for us, uh, especially important becomes internal solidarity within the uh, North Atlantic uh, Treaty. Uh, I had that great uh, luck that I could uh, uh, successfully invite uh, the next summit of uh, North Atlantic Treaty to Warsaw. In 2016, the summit of NATO will be held in Warsaw, and I hope that uh, the uh, President uh, after me will uh, do all possible to uh, have a special meeting of all NATO leaders in the same hall of uh, um, Warsaw Palace, where uh, Warsaw Pact was signed before. Uh, it will have the dimension not only of uh, crossing out those uh, negative times, but in my opinion, it should have the dimension of uh, uh, common activity uh, for building a common world to be more safe, secure. Uh, I must admit that I do hope and uh, that uh, uh, in accordance with earlier plans, the summit in Warsaw in 2016 will not only and solely be 
uh, evaluation of the degree of implementation of decisions uh, made in Newport, but uh, will also be uh, outlining of further goals uh, which are significant from the perspective of uh, the feeling of the whole NATO that actually facing a crisis, NATO can uh, be uh, based on solidarity. I'm uh, fully convinced that Poland, as the host to that uh, meeting, uh, can and should aim quite decisively uh, for this uh, solidarity with uh, countries of eastern flank and solidarity also with Ukraine, who's uh, our direct neighbor and a significant element of uh, security or threat in Eastern Europe. This situation in Ukraine, not Ukraine alone, uh, uh, that they will be subject to deep analysis and deepening the process of co-responsibility for the situation of Eastern Europe. I am convinced that uh, what uh, uh, in Newport was uh, successfully uh, determined as uh, uh, the um, NATO uh, uh, advance guard uh, will be replaced by something what I don't know in Polish language uh, uh, it's said that in uh, the army there is a watch yes uh, the uh, uh, this guard is one thing but uh, the watch is something which is here locally and uh, um, close to the direct location of threat and I'm convinced that this uh, uh, aiming for uh, NATO watch to be existing in NATO countries, uh, Baltic states and Poland and other countries uh, neighboring uh, with a dangerous area, this should be our common goal, uh, actually in the name of solidarity. And I would like to wish for the Wrocław Forum to be uh, a place of not only an interesting discussion, but uh, for it also to be a place where actually uh, forging of the uh, sense of uh, co-responsibility for maintaining and strengthening of uh, solidarity is uh, done uh, in the name of uh, uh, solidarity uh, of uh, uh, Western world uh, with these countries uh, which want to be part of uh, the um, alliance uh, solidarity like Ukraine, uh, solidarity with others who need uh, stable, strong, not only Europe, but uh, the whole Western world, strong and stable. This is what I wish to all. Thank you very much.